Alrighty. Hello, hello everybody. This is Kiru Show here, and now. Before we do begin, let us give a brief little review. In the last part, a number of things have happened. We had Deku. We also had things with Barbara, and even things with Rose. Now, Deku, things with Barbara are a bit more complicated. Barbara, whenever they went to go get coffee and talk after Deku was robbed, she left. Deku had to take a call from Rose, because Rose said the Joker was still alive. And Deku, that hit a fucking nerve. Deku was angry. He was mad. He knows the Joker is dead because he blew the back of his fucking head off. If the Joker is still alive somehow, that has got to be some form of fucked up retribution. And Deku, he's just thinking. New ways to try and kill the Joker. More painful, more horrific. And whenever he went to go see what was going on, it turns out it was Harley Quinn, who was just trying to use the Joker's previous schemes and tools to piss him off and lure him in. And it worked. Deku went in there without a clear head. He went in there, suffering the effects of Lazarus Madness and increased aggression from Venom. And Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy found out his identity. He was the second Robin. He's also, well, older and alive. So that says something about him. Now, the two tried to set up a bomb, which would have killed Deku and Rose. But Deku got both him and Rose out of there since Rose was suffering from fear toxin. Now, Deku got Rose back to his apartment. And Rose currently, she is still somewhat muttering to herself about what happened. She's muttering the name of somebody she knows. She keeps muttering Jericho. Now, with that being said, let's pick up there. Deku currently does get to get out of the shower. And he is somewhat still concerned. Him at least trying to smell himself. Since he hopes he doesn't smell like rancid garbage anymore. Ugh. Why does this town always have so many dumpsters? Then again, they're good to land in. That being like his mind. As we do have where he does going to walk out and see Rose. Her currently sitting on the ground with herself curled up into a small ball. And Deku, he does it to walk over and bend down. Him bring his hand out <laughs> on the Rose's shoulder. And Rose does want to turn and look at him. As Deku just tried to tell her, if she's done suffering from the fear toxin, she can take a shower. Is she okay? I'm sorry. You're fine. You weren't expecting it, right? I wasn't. I just... I became overwhelmed. If I said anything crazy, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it. Who's Jericho? I, I said I don't want to talk about it. Her looking up, and getting a bit more upset. Her gonna jump up and tell Deku. She'll take a shower, and then she's gonna... go. She... She feels like she's not supposed to be here. It's... She's off. Her turning and walking in the bathroom. And Deku, he does get to get dressed. Him going to somewhat sit down in a pair of sweatpants. And he does try to think about what to do. His head still feels like a mess from Harley Quinn. He's still trying to figure all this out. Everything he saw in there. If Harley and Ivy are working together, okay, he'll have to add that to his utility belt. He thought professional courtesy was still a thing, though. Ivy didn't listen to that. Okay, so let's see what to do then. How to handle this. Ivy must not have told Harley she gave him the information. He can definitely use it against Harley and Ivy. Okay. Definitely a possibility, but he has to be careful. The Venom. It's definitely helping him out, but... Shit, he has a limited supply. Just three more doses and he'll run out. Okay, so... Tactfully. That'd be on his mind. Him going to bring his hand up and onto a glass of whiskey. Him going to hold it up and swirl it around in the glass. He has to think about this logically. Clearly? <laughs> no. 
logically. Clear thinking is difficult, hard to manage, but he knows the Joker is dead. Quinn will try and get into his head. If he's still alive after the explosion, Harley, she's going to know something's up. So try again. She'll try something. She knows his face, and she doesn't know his name. No social media, no anything, so he should be well hidden. Not very well documented. Okay. In Gotham, though, millions of faces and millions of people. Hmm. Dr. Harley Quinzel. Information on her should be easy. She's not like Joker. She's more out in the open. She's less planning, more laughing, scheming, and crazy. Huh. Why is he always the one who has to deal with crazy shit? That being on his mind. As there is whenever Rose does come walking out of the shower. Deku looking up to see her. And she does try to ask him if he happens to have any spare clothes. Hmm? Hang on a sec. Deku going to stand up and go to his bedroom. Him going to hand her some clothes and then going to walk back over to the couch. Rose getting changed as she's going to come to walk out and sit down. <clears throat> Deku was seeing her, and Rose just tried to ask him if he's making plans for Harley. I am trying to figure this all out in my head. Planning it and scheming it's going to be difficult, but it's definitely something. So what is it? Call it a honeypot. You're trying to try and lure her out with something she wants. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let her know that Mr. J is still alive. I just happen to like to beat him halfway to death every day. You're going to try and give her old footage? Yeah. Old footage that I kept to myself. Call it a therapeutic tape for me to listen to. <laughs> and you call Talia crazy. Talia is a certain form of crazy, Rose. I know that. It's about Jericho. Who's that? My brother. You screamed at his name. Something bad happened to him? He's dead. I'm sorry. It's fine, it's just... The wound's healed. I didn't expect it to open up again. I'm... Sorry for losing it. You did good, though. Thanks. But... Rose. They're going to lean forwards. And Rose does a good assault turn to him. As Deku, he does go to slide across an empty glass of whiskey. Him going to pour whiskey inside. Telling Rose. He's assuming she might need that. Does she feel any pain? A little bit. We're going to turn and grab it. Expressing going to knock it all back and set it back down on the table. After she has to go to take a Second to swallow it, she's going to say it out loud. She's concerned. Why? I don't like being vulnerable or weak. I already have to deal with Talia being on my ass. And she gets to me. Gets in my head. I hate it. Sorry. Don't be apologetic. It's not about you. We're going to turn and stand up. Her gonna say, Talia always takes what Rose wants. And Rose is sick of it. She always has to deal with crazy shit. Things that get into her head. People that like to try and mess with her or fuck with her. No one takes her seriously. And those who do still treat her like a child. Even her own goddamn father. He doesn't show remorse or regret about what happened to her brother. She's the only one who still feels angry about it. And then there's her mom. Don't get her started on things there. Deku is staring towards Rose. And Rose does go do something unexpected. As she has to look to get Deku before going to step forwards and throw her leg down on the other side of his leg. Going to sit down onto his lap and face him. Before Deku, he does not stand there with his glass of whiskey. And Rose is trying to tell him. She wants to hear what he has planned. If they take out the clown, then they'll get things done properly. 
She wants to know what he's going to do. And Deku just going to stare at Rose. And I'm trying to tell her. Calm down. <laughs> You're not calm. Whenever I get aggressive or angry, I want to do something about it. Now tell me. Her bring her hand out, grabbing on Deku's shirt, pulling him close to her and telling her, telling him, she wants to know his goddamn plan. She wants that clown dead. She'll do it herself. Hmm? Huh. And I thought Talia was the crazy one. Talia is crazy. I'm focused. I'm driven. Instead of trying to shove my tongue down your throat like I want to, I want to murder a clown. Does that tell you something? Yeah, it kind of tells me a lot. <laughs> Good. Now what do you have planned? I'm curious to hear about it. They're going to bring his hand up. And there is where he does going to bring his hand up and grab on a rose. And I'm going to throw her off of him before he does a somewhat stand back up, turning to her and telling her, she needs to take a second to figure her shit out. Her staring at Deku with a bit of a crazed smile. And Deku does going to see it. Yep. She loosened some screws. Okay. So, approach us like Talia. Right. Rose. What? You're mad. Very much so. You want to murder Harley Quinn and Ivy. With a passion, yes. Why? Because I'm angry. Angry at what? I'm angry they made me see my brother again. How I remember him. I... I don't know. I just... I still have that image in my head of his body and... The way my father acted and... I'm just... I'm mad, okay? I know. You're focused, though. Rose is going to stand up and step directly in front of Deku, expressing to him, she is focused. She has things in mind. She has ideas in mind. Working together with him is good. It happens cohesively. It's not like Talia. Talia, she wants to be aggressive, focused, and piss you off. Press her buttons in ways she can't even begin to describe. But him? Calm, silent, and focused. She can work with him. It feels more professional. We're going to bring our hands up. And Deku is going to bring his own hands up to stop Rose. See, there's that word she used there. Professional. Does this feel professional? And Rose just stared at Deku. Her is somewhat going to calm down for a second. Right. It's... I'm... I apologize. I'm... You're dealing with shit. Correct. Rose, as much as I... As much as you what? As much as I want to right now, I have plans. Focused. <laughs> we could do this now and later. <laughs> okay. Do you want to murder the clown? Or would you rather be busy for a minute? Murder the clown. See? You can't tell what you want to do because you're so hyped up on your emotions and that shit is still in your head. And what about you? Me? Yes. The detective got into your head. The clown got into your head. They made you what you are today. The Joker tricked you and... Stop right there, Rose. Rose was surprised. And Douglas stared at her a bit more angrily. Don't mention that clown again. He knows what the clown did to him. Deku is stepping forwards and bring his hand up to grab Rose. I'm going to tell her. If Rose thinks he doesn't know what the clown did to him, she has another thing coming. He's got it. He knows what happened to himself. He gets it. All he wants to do is kill the clown and then beat the shit out of Batman. He wants to get revenge. Bruce left him in Arkham for years. Bruce lost his role as his father. Right now, he knows his own loyalties. He knows what he has to do. He knows what he wants to do. And if Rose is going to try and distract him, she can do one of two things here. Which is what she'll do. Walk out, 
or work with him. And Rose is clear Deku. Before she does go to walk over and pour herself another glass of whiskey, her gonna throw her legs backwards and up into the air, onto the table, expressing as she's gonna take another large gulp. She wants to hear what he has planned, because they, they definitely deserve what's coming to them. And Deku, he does see a bit of a new side to Rose. Aggressive? Angry? Ah, uh, shit. This isn't good. That being on his mind. And we do actually have over with the Bat family. Barbara heard about the scheme. And she also heard about the warehouse exploding. But that's just one of the few things going on right now. She's... Concerned? Worried. Bruce wants to call them to the cave. To talk about the Red Hood. But that's also concerning. She knows Bruce wants to keep her distant from the case, but he can't. Because a building's already up in smoke, and they're fairly certain the Joker, this isn't him. So, Barbara being brought in, she can handle this. That being on Bruce's mind. As everybody, they do so and stand there. You have the members of the Bat family, and Alfred. As Bruce, he does at least try to inform all of his family about what's been happening. About his son, Izuka Midoriya. Bruce began to at least go through a bit of a slideshow, expressing. As he's going to turn back to the computer and press a button. As it does, going to switch over to a picture of Deku. Currently, sitting there, chained to a chair in Arkham. And... There's where Barbara does stare up at it, kind of surprised. And then there's one of the Joker does come out on a screen. And Bruce, he muted the audio. As there is one of the Joker, he does start to go through a bit of his parade. Him angling Deku up to stare at the camera. And there is the way she does look at his face. No, wait. The J. Fuck. What happened to him is bad. Why does he look so... This being where a few more pictures start to pop up. A few things. And Bruce tries to explain. You have pictures of villains like Clayface, Two-Face, and the Black Mask. You even have Scarecrow. And then there's Joker. He's the one who primarily led this little crusade. Led this little bandwagon of torture. And as more things start to pop up, Barbara sees the time go by. She sees one year later, then two years, and then three years. The final picture. And there actually is where Dick, he does somewhat see it. He wanted to mention it himself. But if he does, then Barbara, she'll explode, run off? I mean, he's accusing the guy she's starting to date of being the Red Hood. It sounds crazy and insane, right? But then there's where Bruce, he pulls up another picture. A picture from days ago. And it shows the Red Hood, bringing his hands up and pulling off that helmet. Him going to throw it to the ground and express. It's good to see him again face to face, isn't it, Bruce? And Barbara stares on with white eyes. Jason. Her going to turn and run. Her, watching as Bruce, is going to turn and stare. And there actually is Dick, who does get to stare at Bruce, yelling at him. As Barbara, she gets on the bat bike and rides away, at high speeds. There's no way it's true. No, 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 no. Why? Why is Jason the Red Hood? No, that's not his name. Why is Izuku the Red Hood? It doesn't make sense. That being on her mind. And there is actually some time later. Jason... He tries to tell Bruce about what's going on, and Bruce is kind of alarmed. He's in, he's been in Barbara's apartment, inside the very building. Okay, now turning back, and going to try and look for something. If Izuku was in her apartment, he must have tried to get into her network. Okay, but if he's in her network, then he's in the back computer's network. Where is it? Come on, anything else? Extensive files, 
No, no, no. Come on. What are you doing, Bruce? I'm trying to deep clean. What? Backdoor entrances. Anything between the bars. He could have gotten in. How? Bruce turning. And looking at Dick. And Dick to see the expression. Right. Barbara. And there currently is a Batgirl. She went out to go see Jason. She wants to talk to him. Try and figure out what's going on. However, there actually is where she does get to his apartment. Her pounding on the door and trying to get an answer. However, that door doesn't say a word. And Barbara, she walked all the way up here, got into the elevator, wearing the Batgirl uniform. The bat bike is outside. And right now, she's going to take a step backwards and kick the door open. Now, Barbara doesn't walk in. Her both angry and annoyed. The whole time she was driving, a few things were going through her mind. The fact is, the guy she wants to date is the Red Hood. Fact number two, he lied to her. Somehow he got into her personal life. Close personal life. He goes to therapy with her. And she has an actual debate as to whether or not she wants to date him. And then this. He's the Red Hood. A psycho. A murderer. The guy who... The guy who... Killed the Joker. But... That being where she doesn't want to sit down. I'm trying to think. Everything he's said... An abusive father, abusive friends, I mean, medical drugs, the scarecrow, none, none of it was a lie. She just, he just changed the words. He didn't give names. He gave titles. Dad, that's Joker. He's the Red Hood, but the Red Hood used to be Fuck. Living in her mind. Her sitting down on the couch. Before she's going to turn. And notice that there are two glasses here. Oh. Her going to bring her hands out and grab both of them. One of them belonged to Jason. The other belongs to someone else. Someone else was in, a, in his apartment. He must have had a meeting with Rachel Ghoul. That being in her mind. As she doesn't understand, something else is going on. And right now she has decided to take these cups and leave. However, she's also a bit more concerned. She looks around a bit more. And she doesn't really find anything. And there actually is Deku and, well, Rose. The two went out. They have a few ideas as to what to do. And Deku we do actually have the next day, where he does get to show up to therapy. And while he does sit there, he does look across. He does see Barbara. Him, so I'm going to bring up his hand and give a bit of a wave, as Barbara does get to glare at him, a bit angrily. However, she does get to someone to return the wave, because the guy she wants to date is the Red Hood, and she's going to have to talk to him about that. Because right outside this building, there are a few people waiting for him. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.